Hey, how's it going everybody? Matt Moda here with Odds Jam and what we're doing in this video, locking in some last minute bets for Monday Night Football tonight. So I have three total that I have yet to lock in. Hopefully the odds don't change on me as I am recording this, but don't want to dilly dally anymore because I know we all got some football to watch tonight. So let's get into it. Two player props, one alternate market. I'll start with the alternate market first, and we are rocking with the first half total under 23 at plus 100 odds at Fox Bet. So this is a positive expected value bet with the odds jam, no big odds, pricing this at about minus 103. We can get it at plus 100 on Fox Bet. So the gap between those two numbers gives you your positive expected value. Let me go ahead and lock this one in. So this is going to be a half unit play for me. Just going to put 50 bucks on, excuse me, 50 bucks on this first half under. The other two plays, the player props are going to be for a full unit each. So definitely make sure to stick around for those. Foxbet is verify, verifying, excuse me, my location. So I'll come back in and place that. But let's chat about this one. So I talked about the math behind it, right? These no big odds, Odds Jam calculates them. You can view them to be the perfect line of what a market should be priced at. The math behind it, so it's not just some secret thing that we're talking about. Um, Odds Jam back tested a bunch of betting opportunities, collected thousands and uh, more than that, millions of data points, trying to just understand what sports books do the best job at pricing odds, like over the course of time, right? Not just one betting opportunity, but over the course of time, what sports books do the best job at pricing odds. And then once that determination has been made as this bet was locked in, uh, they removed the VIG from all those sharp, sharp sports books, excuse me, using a weighted average. So giving heavier weight towards the sharper books, which is a very awesome way to think about this. Basically being like, hey, these sports books all are giving different odds, right? If there are uh, odds differing from the point of like minus 110 all the way to plus 112, one of them has to be right and one of them has to be wrong. That's just, it doesn't make sense for them to have that wild of swings between the two. So once you can logically think that one has to be right, one has to be wrong, okay, let's find out which ones are right. Let's, let's let the sports books do the work for us. Let's find the ones that do the best job at it, track all them, put them in a weighted average so it's not just one sports book, it's a bunch of them, and then remove the VIG. The VIG being just the juice, the odds, the, uh, the, the, the juice, the VIG, the odds, the edge, it's the word I was looking for, that sports books price odds, it's how they make their money. So removing it gives you an accurate representation of what they view a market to be priced at. So in this case, the minus 103 is what this, the no VIG odds, the perfect line has it at, plus 100 is what we got it at at Foxbet. Awesome play. The next thing that I like to do is just look at where other sports books price this play at. Just trying to see like, okay, is this an outlier or not? And what we can see, most books have it for roughly even money, minus 110 each way, basically as a 50-50 bet, except for some sharp ones. DraftKings, which mostly does a better job with player props, but still they favor the under. Bet online, and that's important. The sharp one of the sharpest sports books in the world. Bet online favors the under as does Pinnacle Sportsbook, which is the sharpest sportsbook in the world, favors the under. So if we're looking at it, the outlier here is this plus 138, which means that the other side of it, this plus 100, is also an outlier. So this is going to be the first one, first half total under 23. Next up, my favorite play of the night, we're looking at Isaiah Likely over 42 and a half receiving yards, minus 110 at bet MGM. I would like to put a full unit on this one, a full $100. Bet MGM won't let me because they have, to have me limited. So I'm going to do $32.84. But for those of you at home, this, this should be worth a full unit play. So let's chat about this one. It's plus EV. Let's just get that out of the way. No big odds have this all the way at minus 119, which is insane. Bet MGM minus 110. And look where all the other books price it. This is why this is my favorite play. Caesars, minus 154. DraftKings, minus 135. Pinnacle, minus 145. All of them have it as significantly more likely to go over this receiving yardage total. And then if you click the event page, you open it up in a new tab. Look at where the other sports books price this total in general. So some of them have it for a yard lower, but they heavily juice the over. And then look at FanDuel, 43 and a half. Foxbet, 43 and a half as well. Most of the sports books price it above this number, or they heavily, heavily juice it 
at where they're pricing it at 42 and a half, like minus 150, minus 130, minus 130, minus 117. So this over 42 and a half, I think is an awesome play. I also love it just for handicapping purposes. It's not, it's not difficult, right? The Ravens love to throw to the tight end. Mark Andrews, their star tight end is most likely out tonight. I think he actually has been ruled out tonight. So guess who's the starter? Isaiah Likely. Guess who scored last week? Isaiah Likely. I think he's going to get a ton of work in a game that the Ravens are favored in, even though they're the away team. So this one I like a lot. Isaiah Likely over 42 and a half receiving yards. I would say it's highly likely he goes over that number. A little joke for you there. But regardless, 42 and a half minus 110 at BetMGM. The next play. So this was a play that is on the positive EV page. Lamar Jackson over 60 and a half rushing yards. So this is a good play in and of itself. But when I was doing my research, I opened this up in a new tab. Look at where all the other books pricing it. You can actually find a better price. And this is, shows you the value of line shopping and, and comparing all the sports books. We can actually get it for two yard, two full yards lower at 58 and a half at minus 110 at Fandle. Now that is a pretty good price. It's already plus EV at minus 104, two yards lower. So or two yards higher, excuse me. So getting it two yards lower and only sacrificing six cents of juice is an awesome play. So this is going to be my third and final, I need to go to Monday Night Football, excuse me. My third and final betting pick for tonight. We're going with Lamar Jackson over, nope, not rushing, or not receiving, over 58 and a half rushing yards. I'm going to put a full unit on this one as well. Lamar Jackson over his rushing yards prop, 58 and a half this one makes sense as well. Mark Andrews is banged up. Gus Edwards is banged up. Rashawn Bateman's out for the year. He's going to need to run it a ton. So I like this one a lot. Another full unit play for me. And that is it for these last minute uh, bets for tonight. So if you're tailing them, comment on the video with your feedback. Let me know you're tailing. But that's it. So thanks for watching and have a good one.